So we have understood about system module, how does system module works and what is it, what are the simple functions of system module. Now let's understand about OS module because OS module is solely responsible for interacting with the operating system where it some provides access to the underlying interface of the operating system right that's where OS module and system module will differ and if you try to execute from here so we'll just first check how does we can just get the path when we give OS module so first I import OS and if I don't want to see the above result what we can do we can just keep these in triple quotes okay now the first thing we can just check with the OS module is what happens if I give print of OS.path. We will do the same thing on interactive mode, we need not worry and this will differ for me and for you. When I just give print of OS.path, this file is running in desktop. Let me just click on run and execute this. There you go. It clearly gives you the NT path. This is where your Python root location, Python is installed and NT path is mainly responsible for all the execution because this is your windows path with double slash because windows slash is always with single path single slash right if you copy this and paste automatically it will throw you an error where if you open your windows explorer just make sure you need to change this if you hit hit, hit enter what happens it cannot find the path right that's where you just need to remove the single i mean double slash make it as single slash because single slash is windows path we make that path to understand for the python environment by giving double slash or backward slash because generally our program should work in any, any environment right so this is where your python root location is in library we have a file called as nt path just go for it where it is and yeah you just click on right click go for it with ideally you can clearly see what does how does path is being separating windows path is basically forward slash so we need to separate by double slash or alternative path is backward slash that's where you can see all the files including and get the path how does it should return this is where it takes every instance to execute that is the reason when you go for os.path even if you run from here import os and give os.path you can clearly get the same nt path library that's where you can clearly understand how does os.path and sys.path will differ if you go for sys.path it will clearly give you because it's, it should be imported right first so import sys and when you ask sys.path automatically it will throw you all the available files within the same location because we are running python from root location it will throw you see desktop and all python files where it is being run that is the reason os.path is different and sys.path is different as os.path is mainly responsible mainly os module is responsible for the interacting with the operating system right that's where if you are trying to interact what does that mean we can try to access the files yes that's where we can get the list of all directories so how do you do that we can just go for os dot because generally we use the command line way whether to create a file or to check with the files when i go for os dot list of all directory you see whatever the files are present in desktop because i am in desktop location you can see the same files are present in desktop see python file and some google chrome location whatever it is whatever you give os dot path and you go for a list of directory you get the same result so it gives you list of all available files that's where even if you wanted to go for os dot list of directory of you can also give them with dot okay you get all the things suppose if you try to go to go by saving it in another location something like if you are saving in root c drive automatically it will give you all the files present in your c drive root c drive that's what i'm trying to tell and even if you want to get the current working directory you have a shortcut key called as os dot get current working directory you see i am in desktop location always remember windows path is forward slash python path will be alternative is backward slash or we separate them with 
to forward slash. Just keep this thing in mind because when we go for working on files, we'll be working on same thing. We just need to understand how does we add the path, right? So this is get current working directory. And even if you want to create a new directory, you can also go for that. When I say directory, that is a folder. How do you do that? The same shortcut command, if you are aware of DOS commands, because that's where Python reliable for Windows environment also, you give, go for os.mkdir. When I go for mkdir, that's where I'm trying to create a new file. So my file, I mean my folder name would be Saket. There you go. If you are going to next line, what does that mean? That particular folder has been created. Let me cross check. You see, empty folder, right? That's where we can use mkdir to create a new directory, which plays a very vital role and it's very, very important, right? mkdir, get current working directory, list of directories. These are some of very, very important things. And even you can also join two paths. You can also split the paths. That's where you can go for understanding os.path. That is very, very important. You can go for os.path. What happens when you give os.path? You see where it is running? It is running from the root nt path. That's where we use along with path. We just try to join the path or split the path. That means you can give two paths and you wanted them to join for temporary cause. Okay. I want to give C colon. Let me give a single slash and tell you what happens. C uses. Make sure you give your path and I want to combine with desktop. Just make sure how do you do that. Enter. What it is telling you? Yes, it is Unicode error because as I told you, Windows path is forward slash. If you want to make sure that Python understands, always give in two forward slash or one backward slash. There you go. This is automatically created. You are joining two parts. Whether you go for backward slash also, it is fine. Just copy this and paste it here and you just go for backward slash. There you go. See, C users and double slash desktop. That's where. And even if you wanted to split the path, you can go for os dot path dot split. If you want to split the path, first just mention what is the path you are trying to split. C users, just make sure how you are trying to split the path and clearly that would be splitted. C users as one, desktop is one. Joining and splitting. This is very, very simple. Okay. So this is where you can generally use how does we understand this OS module and mainly the best thing is we generally use it for automatically removing the files. Okay. If I want to remove any file, first let me create a new file because I can only remove a file. So for that, I'll be using my notepad, I mean shortcut key. Suppose I want to create a better new file in desktop. How do I do that? Generally, everyone will do right click and you go for new, a text file. Okay. I'll give my text file name as socket. If you just give that, it's a normal way. But I don't do that way. I'll go for a shortcut key called as notepad. Because in Windows, it is Notepad. And if you go for Unix, Linux, Ubuntu based systems or Linux, you go for Vim or Nano. So here, I just give my text file name as, not in text file, you can go for Python file, HTML, CSS, JavaScript, whatever it is. If the supporting software environment is present to operate. When I press enter, there you go. You see, it is asking, you cannot find. So if you want to create, yes, I'll create some dummy text over here because I just wanted to rename and remove it. That's the reason I gave a simple text file. You can create any file and you want to remove any file from your location. You can do that file MP3 file or video file or whatever it is. You can remove it. It's fine. So I'll just try to show that when you go for OS dot, let's first remove it where you can clearly understand OS dot remove of what is the path? What is the file you want to remove? I want to remove this SAM. So just right click on it, go to properties. What are the, what is the path? So as windows path is forward slash, you just need to change that path. First, just copy the path because don't ever write manually the path. Just copy the path clearly. Even if we are in same location, we need not directly give the path. 
but the best way to make you understand first give the complete path make sure you cannot recover this file just see if you want to remove any file from your system based in your c drive because if you want to change the root location you just need to change it everywhere we do install software in c drive only right so make sure whatever file is present in any location in c drive or e drive whatever it is copy the complete path right click on it go to properties you see in security you have the path that's the object name so just you see when i try to execute this automatically the file will be removed bingo it's gone let me prove it for you you see do we have any file here in a text file no right that's where we have clearly removed that file so it is permanent you cannot recover it recover it okay the other thing is if and if you want to rename any file so first i want to rename this saket text file to any other name so just i'll copy this path go to security and copy the path let me just try whether if i am in same location i am in desktop right why can't i give my file name directly and i want to change it to this file name saket.txt to sam.txt bingo it's done see in this way also you can just change the file name where you need not mention the complete path because your python shell or python file is running in the same location it is in desktop and some people may not get it because your os permission should be given see saket is being modified to sam it only depends on your os permission just make sure you are enabled with that clearly you can rename a file remove a file rename a file any file whether it is mp3 mp4 dot png jpg any file you can rename and you can remove if you are clearly following this kind of method right that's where operating system module plays a very vital role as it is mainly responsible for interacting with our operating system it has high priority to remove a file to rename a file that's where system module is different now with the help of this operating system module only we can create we can work on a single line file where we can create a file that is text file or any kind of file file in a single line and even that's where it plays a very vital role so just make it simple how we are trying to read the path and how we are trying to join and separate the path these are very very simple functions if you want to work on remaining things just check the directory of the os and you get the list of all available functions within it we can just work on it. but these are very very important functions when you start working on the os module